Hi everybody, Tracy Weinsapple here in my studio. If you are taking my Canvas journaling class, I wanted to talk to you about that class. Here is the completed journal. One of the things you're going to want to do when you get your journal, it will come to you sewn, but it is completely um, unprimed canvas. So what you need to do is get your favorite gesso and prime the entire book. Front cover, back cover, every single page, front and back. And I am going to show you a couple of techniques. On a couple of these pages, I didn't do it to every page, but I gave um, the pages like a swirled effect. And all you need are some few basic tools. But the first thing you're going to do is get your favorite gesso. Mine is, happens to be Deco Arts White Gesso. You'll need a foam brush. You'll, you could, or you may want, uh, this is a Martha Stewart paint tool and it gives you lines and texture and you can make it kind of look like linen. You could actually use a comb or a brush, anything that will give you texture. Another thing I use is drywall mesh tape. You can get this from Home Depot as well. And I cut off a strip of that and this will give texture. Bubble wrap will give texture. The bottom of your shoe will give texture. There are just so many things. You can use a terry cloth robe, or not a robe, you could use a rope, but you could use uh, a towel or a rag. So those are just some suggestions, and I wanted to show to you how I work on a few of the pages and prime them. Now with gesso, I will switch cameras. With gesso, it is pretty fast drying, and if you put it on thick, you can either air dry it or heat gun it. So this doesn't take long at all. It is not a long process. For the most part, you can just paint it on, let it dry, and it's a done deal. In this case, though, I'm just going to show you a couple of techniques that will give you the texture that you're looking for. I make sure to get into the seams. And like I said, you're going to want to do every page, front, back, inside covers. And you'll want to do that before we take the class because you don't want to have to wait for um, the gesso to be drying, although exciting is not. <laughs> okay, so here's a couple of te techniques that I will show you. What I do is I lather it on. Let's say we wanted to use that mesh I was talking about. You can just lay that down in and go over it. Okay. And then just pull that up. And if you'll see, it gives you a really cool crisscross pattern. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Okay, and I'll go right over this and just demo the now the swirls. You could do this with, like I said, you could do it with a hairbrush, a brush, your husband's comb. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take that and go in a swirling motion. Lots of cool ideas. You could go in straight lines. You could crisscross it. I'm just going to go random. And then all you do is let this dry. You can air dry it or you can heat, take a heat gun to it. And I will pull this up so you can take a peek at it. And that will dry just like that. I did that to a previous page here. And I do that to every other page. I don't do it to every page. There we go. So you want to do that before we start the class. Uh, I think that's about it. I just want to thank you very much for taking the class with me. I'm looking really excited to do it in studio and online. So there'll be more details to come on my website. I'll talk to you soon and thanks very much. Bye.